Two Fondo, AZ back in the building. We're cooking scampi. Scampi. They're like a giant prawn or a little crayfish, I should say. Like they taste like a little crayfish. They do not taste like prawns or shrimp. They are very, very sweet. They're nice. They got heaps of flavor. So to shell them, you want a cloth. Grab them at both ends and make them do a bit of a wriggle. See how I'm doing that? That just loosens the meat away from the shell. And then I'm just going to give it a bit of a twist halfway down the shell. I'm just going to break the shell halfway down. Then I'm gently going to pry them apart. There we go. See? Now I'm left with that. And you should be able to just push the other, you know, put your finger in the back of that and just push through. You'll be able to get the whole thing to come out. And remember, you know, when you're doing the breaking of the shell, you really want to wear a cloth because these are super sharp, those scampi shells. And down the back, there's this vein. Just going to reach under it with my thumb and gently pull them out so I get all of it. And that's it there on my finger. Yeah, you want to get it out the back. And that's how you shell and devein the scampi fans. There you go. Scampi. It's like mini crayfish. He stop. I'll get back to the pan and show you what's good. Church, so we're back at the pan. We've got our pan getting hot. We're going to chuck a little bit of oil in there. Just a little bit. It'll stop your butter from burning. And then you're going to put in a bit of butter. I've got some real butter there. But if you ain't got none, use the marge. Then I'm going to smack in, I don't know, just over half an onion. You know, maybe one small onion. I'm going to chuck that in there. I've got my scampi shelled and de-veined. Remember, hey, you got to use the cloth when you're doing that mission. But yep, my scampi's been de-veined and shelled. That's it all sitting there. That was just over a dozen scampi too. So I'm just going to cook this down until the onions are translucent. So my onions are nearly tr translucent now, see-through. I'm going to add about a tablespoon, you know, maybe two teaspoons of um, garlic. Add more or less to your taste. I like garlic. i got crushed garlic paste there. But if you're using fresh garlic, chuck it in the same time as the onions. Yeah, give that a bit of a stir around for a couple of minutes. Okay, fams, my onions and my garlic been cooking for a couple of minutes. They're smelling great. I'm going to add a couple of pinches of um, paprika, smoked paprika to that. And maybe three pinches of it. That'll give it a nice barbecue flavor and some chili, chili flakes. I want to chuck just a couple of splashes of that in there. Yeah. Just mix that together for another 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Okay, so that's been on for around 30 seconds. It smells real nice. I'm going to chuck my scampi in there now. The heat's been on high the whole time. That's actually quite a quick dish. I've got it on high. And I want to cook my scampi in there as quick as I can. Scampi tastes like young crayfish fans, not that I know what an undersized crayfish tastes like or nothing. <laughs> but yeah. Definitely a nice feed. And while I'm doing this, I've got a bread in the oven, some toast. I'm toasting it with garlic butter on top, with um, some parsley and pepper on it too. I season the bread. So yeah. So we're about three to four minutes in on a bit of a high fry on these scampi spams. They're looking golden, nice and cooked. So I'm going to jam them out onto the spread. Check this out. Church, so we're going to plate it on our garlic bread. We've seasoned the bread as well. It's got garlic butter on it when we toasted it. I'm just going to spread the scampis on. And this mix, you could even put cream with it and, um, you know, make a bit of a sauce and put it on top of some pasta. But yeah, this is scampi fans on toast. Garlic scampies. Four minutes though, you don't want to overcook them because they get quite chewy and tough. So And they smell just like crayfish straight up. They smell exact. So there's a couple of plates there. Top feed. East side up scampies, Uncle AZ style. You know what's good. Oh, you know I've got to taste one. Hold it. Always got to taste one to make sure it's tight. Take that. East side up. Mmm. Yeah. 